just want to see it like you see it. So, so maybe, maybe I need to come down here where you at, Jesus. Uh, oh, I'm up here standing. And you notice the saints is crying. All this mom and all them crying. Uh, but they can see. That's right. <laughs> the whole world, the disciples hiding, but they can see. But Simon, the accidental, God blessed him and said, here, I'm going to let you see. Daddy going to let you sit up on his shoulders so you can take a peek. My daddy should do that. I can't see, daddy. I can't see. Here. Oh. Right. So for just a brief second, Jesus picked him up and let him see. <laughs> he wasn't trying. He wasn't supposed to be there. So he gets up going back home. He goes back home now with a new perspective yes. and covered in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Uh, and the Bible says that when he got home, something had to change. Yes. His family noticed something different. His situations were different. Yes. His outlook was different. Because yes. there's no way you can be that close to Jesus yes. and not have something yes. changed. <laughs> there's no way. There's no way that you can be covered in the blood of Jesus and your next door neighbor don't know. Yes. No way, there's no way possible that I can go to work and be covered in the blood of Jesus and cuss my still some eye people for me. Right, right. So it should only be a little while before a change. Hallelujah. Yes. Especially when the Holy Ghost comes. Right now, right now, I love to praise the Lord. I, and I, I know there are some more introverted people than myself. I understand that there are some quiet people. But I'm of the opinion that every now and then, yeah. I'm not saying every Sunday, I'm not saying every Sunday, you can if you want to, but it looks like to me, yeah. uh, Jeremiah says like fire, yeah. that shut up in my bones, yeah. and every now and again, yeah. I ought to wave my head. I just 
made this up. I didn't set myself on fire. I was set on fire a long time. Oh, through prayer and fasting. I was set on fire. But when I wasn't even saved, my mama lit a match. Oh, yeah. My daddy lit a match. Oh, yeah. said, Lord bless my child. That's why I need some matches in here. I need some tender things in here. Don't stop looking at the babies who like the match. Oh, yeah. We gotta stop talking about the babies right. and like the match. Yes. If you don't like their phone, stop paying for it yes. and like the match. Yes. Yes. Woo! Come on. Because what you're gonna see, what you're gonna see, you might never hear it, <laughs> but what you're gonna see is that God is faithful. Yes. <laughs> he hears the cries of mothers. Yes. He hears the cries of fathers. Yes. And he observes your faithfulness. Yes. <laughs> and then he turns the heart of the daughter to the mother. Yes. And he turns the heart of the father towards the son. Yes. <laughs> and, and then, and then they watch what you did. Yes. And you find they bring the same words that you said right. back to them. That's, right. <laughs> That's why when sickness comes, I say like Helen Joanne told me the last words she said, even if he don't heal me, he's still a healer. Yes. He's a healer that the world don't know. Yes. A fire was lit in me. Oh, yes. And so I pray now yes. that the fire will continue here at Greater Bethesda. Yes. That the combustion will come. Oh, yes. That the Holy yes. Spirit won't turn us oh, loose. Okay. That some things will come up. We need some fire. We need some more fire. Yes. Yes. We need fire. Yes. We need fire in our home. Some of us need to fire up our relationship. Yes. Some of us need to fire up our prayer. Oh, yes. We need fire. In the United States, yes. we need to carry some fire downtown. Yes. See, there wouldn't have been no rainbows if it was some fire. Yes. We, were, we asking, we asking, we asking, why is the world getting so crazy? Why are things happening? Because it ain't no fire. Yes. My Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there somebody here who's ready to catch on fire?
that you can't let go. It's fire time. It's fire time. It's fire time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've been trying to push it off by yourself, but now it's fire time. Uh, we're going to pray, and God's going to hear a consuming fire is going to take away the spirit of depression. A consuming fire is going to burn up the spirit of division. Right now, right here and right now, we decree and declare the fire of the Lord is on this altar. Like Elisha called out fire from the sky. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Everybody stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Woo!